Hi, my name is Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. And this is my December 2021 weight update. Okay, so we did it. We went through December and I feel pretty good about it. And I'm going to share with you everything that happened as far as my weight and just kind of give some context with all of it. So my starting weight was my last reported weight for November, which was November 24th, and that was 179.6, and I had just broken back into the 170s, hadn't seen it for a very, very long time, um, over a year. So that was really exciting, and then, um, and I want you to keep in mind that after this date, the the weigh-ins that I'm reporting right now, this is going to encompass um, Thanksgiving plus Thanksgiving travel, a Walt Disney World trip that was um, the better part of a week, and uh, I had my son's birthday, then Christmas Eve and Christmas, and um, also we had a guest come into town just this week. Um, I'm actually filming this on December 20 31st, so... New Year's Eve. Um, Happy New Year's by the time this comes out. And yeah, so a lot going on. Definitely a lot of treats around, a lot of heavy, rich foods, all of the above. So and that has to be kept in mind for context. But um, so my next weigh-in was December 2nd, and this was just a five, two week after Thanksgiving. So Got back from Thanksgiving travel on Saturday, the Saturday before, had my regular eat day on Sunday, then fasted Monday and Wednesday this week. And so I weighed in on Thursday, and the reason I only did 5-2 this week was because our um, church had a Christmas party on Friday, so I wanted to participate in that. And um, so that was 180.5, so 0.9 pounds up. But given the situation, I was totally okay with that. Um, and then December 7th was my next weigh-in. Now, this was a Tuesday, so really close to my previous weigh-in. Um, and only one full fast that week because I was leaving on this day to go to Disney World, leaving on a plane to get to go to Florida. And um, so I weighed in at 180.4. So that was 0.1 pounds down, which I was like super stoked about after only one fasting day that week to get down a little bit. Okay, so then um, my next weigh-in was Saturday, December 18th, and this was after my Disney trip. And I already talked about this in another uh, another video, but I when I got back from that trip and weighed in on that Monday, I was 9.4 pounds up. So keep that in mind. But my weigh-in on Saturday, December 18th, after getting back on track and having just my Monday, Wednesday, Friday fast that week, I was down to 180.7. So yes, that is a 0.3 pound gain for the from weigh-in to weigh-in, but given the context again, I could not be happier with that. That was amazing. Okay, so my next weigh-in is Thursday, December 24th. This is obviously Christmas Eve. And I did, again, 5-2 the week of Christmas so that I could, um, you know, enjoy some time with my family. We have we usually do a big dinner on Christmas Eve and then kind of just eat leftovers on Christmas. And I, uh, yeah, so there was a lot of eating for sure. And uh, so anyway, my weigh-in for December 24th before all of that was... 179.6 so back into the 170s and only on a 5-2 week which again super happy with that so my last weigh-in which was this morning um december 31st now again i have to bring in the context because um this week uh, we had a guest come into town and stay with us just for a night but because of that i did alter my schedule now, I was up a little bit in weight on Monday from Christmas, and then I fasted on Monday, and I ate Tuesday, and then I ate four hours on Wednesday, and so I just had a four-hour window, and I ended at 1230, like around noon, um, and then I went into a 48-hour fast, 
which I'm in the middle of right now, I'm about, I don't know, like I'm about 46 hours in right now, about to run some errands. So by the time I get home, I will be about ready to break my fast. Um, and the reason that I did that was just because of this random schedule that I had this week to where I was going to eat Tuesday and Wednesday, which I don't usually like alter my schedule in, in the middle of the week like that. So I was like, okay, well, a 48 hour fast would work really well because, you know, if I started it early in the day on Wednesday, then I'm really only having one full day where I'm fasting. And today I'll still have like an eight hour window. It's New Year's Eve. I'll probably eat a little later than I normally do. And then I will um, have my normal window tomorrow on Saturday and just go from there. So as far as like my schedule being all over the place, it is just about done. But um, so I, that was a lot of rambling, but to get to the point. So my weigh in this morning, I was at 180.8, which is 1.2 pounds up. But given the context of how I altered my schedule this week, I'm super happy with that because again, like Tuesday, I had a long eating window. We had our guest in town. I made a full turkey dinner. We had creme brulee for dessert um, and all, a lot of other things. So I'm just fine with that. And yeah, so that means that I'm 1.2 pounds up from last month. Um, but the really cool thing is my average, if you take the monthly average of all my weights and average them out, I'm actually 0.2 pounds down from last month's average. My last month's average was 180.8 and this month's average is 180.6. So that's really important to keep that all in mind and just to um, you know keep things in context because obviously this month was a lot of variation, a lot of celebration, and I'm just super happy to have sort of maintained my weight this month um, because last last year in 2020, it kind of did not go that way. So just as a comparison, in 2020, my last weigh-in in November, I was at 180.8, which is funny because that's what I was at today. Um, and then my last weigh-in in December, I was at 184.6. So that's like 3.8 pounds up. And, uh, and even after that, like a couple weeks, uh, the week after and the week after that, by January 9th, I was up to 186.2. So I was um, up even more. And so just to put all of that into context, you know, I feel like I did so much better this year. I just felt so much better. I felt more in control. I just enjoyed it all so much better. So what I would like to do, I believe, is I would like to do a video of just like 2021 year in review um, and kind of talk about what I learned last year and just share like all of the, the recap of the year, my fasting windows and everything. I don't know if I'll get that out next week. Um, I'll try, but we'll see. So, but I would like to do that. And um, so here I'll show you my happy scale graph. And this is so, this is for this whole year basically from beginning to end. And we ended on a good note in the green. And um, yeah, I'm super happy with that. And um, here are my fasting windows for December from my window app. And then here are my eating windows from the window app. So there you have it. And that's how December went. Um, let me know how your December went. And you know what? Even if it wasn't the greatest, it's really okay. I promise you because we can learn together. We can learn about ourselves and we can do better over time, you know, it's a journey. It's definitely something that we have to keep evolving and changing and figuring out what we need specifically. And I feel like that is something that I have been able to really zero in on in this past year is just really um, amping up the flexibility and learning what I need. And so, and of course that's always changing, but I just wanna encourage you if you are starting out, to just know that it's 
it's a process, but it's really such a, it's such a beautiful thing that you're doing for your body to take a break from digestion and the constant eating and long, long, long windows all the time, whether or not it goes well every single day, because it won't, um, you're still doing something good for yourself and just, just keep learning, just keep going and, and changing and tweaking and doing what works for you. So anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you being here and for all your kind comments, it means a lot and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you.